Next question is from AK Josh84. Is there any point in taking creatine when not training? Oh, I see. Um, you know what's funny? Creatine now is being uh, promoted as a health supplement. Yeah. Because so of all the supplements that are out there, it's probably one of the most studied mm -hmm. and good studies too. It's been studied heavily for a very, very long time. It's been shown to be across the board safe. Um, uh, if you're healthy, you don't have any health issues, totally safe. It reliably builds uh, muscle and strength. It's got cognitive benefits. It's got heart, he heart health benefits. It's got, uh, they're showing other health benefits. It's, uh, I, I see wellness practitioners now putting it in their supplements for people who aren't even trying to build muscle or get stronger. Creatine, I think in the next five to 10 years, will be one of those like one of those one of those things that'll be in your multivitamin yeah. even. Do you, know you think this is a result of of you know be like red meat becoming demonized so much? Oh no, I think this is just the result of uh, of studies. Just so many st like I see heart I'm I, I'm actually reading articles written by heart health specialists mm -hmm. that are recommending creatine. I I've, I've seen I've talked to doctors now who are recommending small amounts of creatine to their elderly population, people who don't even yeah. work out or anything, they're starting to give it to them. Um, it's, it's what it's again, it's going to be one of those things that you're going to hear people just, you know, like your mom is going to take a supplement for health and you'll look at the bottle and it's going to yeah, say I, I one agree. gram of creatine. I see value in it. Yeah. I mean, why not? I mean, especially if you know you're somebody who is on the lower end too of like red meat and protein intake. So, which I think is a very common, the average person that I would assess and look at their intake, almost every one of them, the, the average people, I'm not talking about the people that are already conscious into weight training and macros, mm -hmm. like those people are different, but the average person that uh, would hire me almost always were grossly under eating uh, protein. And so since that's the main source for you to get uh, creatine, yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. I saw, I read a study, this is an animal study, so please don't, don't do this, but the animal study showed uh, pregnant animals that, that were supplementing, that they gave a little bit of creatine to, um, reduced risks of neural development issues, a healthier mm. offspring. And why is creatine showing all this stuff? It's a naturally occurring substance. So it's in, it's in all animal products or most animal products. And what it does is it, it fuels the mitochondria of the body. And the mitochondria is the energy powerhouse. It's like the engine of all of your cells. And if your mitochondria are healthy, you're healthy. If your mitochondria are not healthy, you are also not healthy. And this is, you know, you hear a lot of these these uh, biohackers talk about oh, yeah. mitochondrial health. Creatine is the, it's consistently shown to improve that, you know, more than anything else that's out there. So I think it's probably, now here's the thing, not for everybody. There's definitely a small percentage of people that will take creatine and get gastrointestinal issues. Mm -hmm. They'll notice like their gut will be a little off or whatever. If that happens to you, don't take it. But for most people, I'd say you probably will notice some kind of benefit.